Hey fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. This is a Foundations of Math course. This is chapter 12, quick overview of graphing. The whole point of this course is to help you do better on any sort of union entrance math exam, the ASVAB, the military entrance math portion of that exam, contractor's exam, any place where you need standardized math, this course is designed to help you be successful in that. This video right here is going to be all about graphing. We're going to do graphing, slope, y-intercept, x, y axes, independent, dependent variable in the slope intercept form. It is not a comprehensive video, just a quick overview. So with that said, let me go ahead and get started. Okay, it all started back in chapter one when we worked with the number line, positive and negative values. Graphing is one more step up from that. You're going from one dimensional space of a number line and creating two dimensional space by adding another axis. This horizontal axis, your number line is always referred to as X. That is always your independent variable. And that vertical axis is Y, also known as your dependent variable. The Y value depends on what you pick for X. This graphing has tons of applications from finance to engineering, um, design, but it's used all over the place. It's called the Cartesian coordinate system. Um, it is, if I have a value right here, let's say I go over three and I go up four, that is an ordered pair. You write that ordered pair X first and then Y. So that ordered pair right there is always X, Y, just like it is alphabetically. From an ordered pair, you go to a second ordered pair, let's say that value right there is over zero, up one. And then from ordered pairs, you start connecting the dots, I guess figuratively and literally, and you start looking at line segments and lines. If it ends at both places, it's a segment. If it continues on infinitely in both directions, there will be arrows at each point. If I'm looking at that line, there are two pieces to it. The slope, slope is how far it rises over run, Slope is usually represented with the letter M. It is the slope of the line. It is defined as the rise, the change in Y, over the run, the change in X. So let's see if we can figure this out from this point to this point. I rise one, two, three. So my rise is three. My run is one, two, three as well. My slope is three over three. That's a fraction that reduces to three over three, reduces to one. So my slope in this line is one. If I look at the y-intercept, usually represented with the letter B, lowercase b, is your y-intercept. That's where it's gonna cross the y-axis. So in this line right here, this line right here, it crosses the y-axis right here at one as well. So this line right here that I have drawn, you could put into slope intercept form. The general equation is y equals mx plus b. y and x are gonna stay the same. And then you're gonna replace the m with the slope and the b with the y intercept. So in this case, this line here, I have y equals one x plus one. Should really have a notebook for this whole course. Um, links to all previous chapters are in the description. If you're having trouble with some of these things, maybe go back and watch the previous videos. I kind of try and do in a whole series of videos to prepare you for a standardized math test. It's called Foundations of Math because everything about math is based on the previous portion of math. So math isn't actually hard. The reason why it seems so hard, it's so sequential that if you're missing a few little pieces, like a bad foundation, everything else falls apart. So this whole course, these videos on YouTube, their intent is to go back and, and build a solid foundation so that you can move forward. Okay, here's another graph. Why don't you go ahead and pause the video and see if you can find the equation of this line right here. You want it in the y equals mx plus b form, meaning you gotta find the slope of this line and the y-intercept. All right, so we want y equals m, which is our slope, x plus b. So we gotta find our slope value right here. Remember, M is rise over run, so I'm just gonna pick any two points on the line. Here's one ordered pair. This point right here is over zero, up two. That's my X, my Y. And then here's another point right here. This value right here is over two, up five. 
So now I need to find the slope between these two points. So I'm going to rise one, two, three, and then I'm going to run one, two. So I rise three, I run two. Slope is rise over run. So it's three over two X. I could reduce that fraction or convert it into a decimal, 1.5 X, uh, one and a half, one and one half X. And then the next thing I need to do is figure out where it crosses the Y axis. It's crossing right here at two. So that's just my Y intercept. Y equals three over two X plus two. If I pick different points, it would have worked out the same. I might have rose six over four and I'd reduce that fraction back. If I have a line, with this kind of slope right here, that's a negative slope. Let's see if we could go ahead and find the equation of this line right here. It's gonna be negative. I'll pause the video and find the slope of that line. So it crosses right here. I just pick any two points on here. This, is, this black point on my red line is over zero up four. This one right here is over five up zero. And then I figure out the slope here. I go from zero to five, so I go over five, rather than go up, I'm going down. So I go from a height of four to a height of zero, so I go down negative four. So my general equation is y equals m slope x plus b y intercept, rise over run, so I rise negative four, I run five, so it's negative four fifths. And my y-intercept, my b value right here, as it crosses at 4, it's going to be crossing at 4. All right, here's another problem. Given an equation, go ahead and graph that equation. Pause the video and see if you can figure that out. All right, so I got y equals mx plus b. So it's going to cross the y-axis at 2, right? That's my y-intercept right there. This is a number, but it's also a fraction. It's also 3 over 1. So from 2 rise over run, I run one and I rise three. So I rise one, two, three, that'll put me at five. Rise three, run one, it'll be right here. So I have one pair, one ordered pair here at zero, two, one ordered pair right here at one, five. Whoops, need a bigger dot. <laughs> at one, five, so this goes, through the point 1, 5, y equals 3x plus 2, I rise 3, run 1, and it has a y-intercept of 2. So that's given an equation, create the graph. There's a million applications of graphing um, and millions of different types of problems, but that is a quick overview of graphing on the Cartesian uh, coordinate system. Again, remember the vertical axis is y, your dependent variable. Horizontal axis is x, your independent variable. If you have any questions at all, please post them in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as I can.